We're now going to review the options on the play page. So we're going to select a routine, press the play button to take us to the play page, touch ball one in the list, and the, and the machine moves to that first ball in the list. Now at this time we, we can either automate the routine, throw it manually, um, and or put it in kind of a semi-automatic mode where we can advance to the next ball manually as well. To do a manual throw, simply press the throw button that we're on. It will throw the ball, and if the advance button is on, it will move to the next ball and wait. At that point, we press the throw button, it will throw that ball and move to the next ball and wait. If we turn the advance button off, and press throw, it will throw the highlighted ball and stay there. If we want to it if we want to automate this routine, we go to the options page, choose the auto fire time. Right now it's set at three seconds, let's set it at four. If we want it to throw that one ball repeatedly, all we have to do is press the play button and whatever ball is highlighted, every four seconds it will be thrown again until we press the pause button to stop it. Now we can also touch the advance button and this will automate the routine and take you all the way through the routine until at the, at the lap of the last ball it will actually go back to the very first ball of this. And you'll notice as it's moving to each ball, it's throwing it, the highlighted ball, and then moving to the next ball until it gets to the bottom of the list as it is right now in ball seven. And once it does that, it'll go back to the top of the list. I'm going to pause that routine.